Harold the Hitchhiking Spider, a five-minute bedtime story by Sammy Jameson. Harold was a common garden spider who had uncommon dreams. Most spiders build their webs and live their whole lives in the same spot. Harold was different. He wasn't satisfied to just stay in one place. He wondered what was on the other side of the garden fence. So Harold climbed over the garden fence one day. He discovered a van with its door left wide open. Harold was curious and decided to try hitchhiking. He thought, maybe this will be my way to see the rest of the world. The family who owned the van got in to take the children to school. Harold found a place behind the rear view mirror to hide. Later, he built his web there. When the woman of the house saw the spider web, she took a paper towel and cleared it away. And that's when Harold realized, I can't stay in this van, but maybe hitchhiking will be my way to see more of the world. Harold began looking for another ride. He saw a big rig truck with a Spider-Man painted on the door. He said to himself, Spider-Man, this is a sign to me that this is my new ride. Harold found the driver's window rolled down, so he climbed into the cab. The cab was very messy, and Harold thought, this is perfect. This driver won't even notice my web, let alone wipe it away. Harold climbed onto the console and crawled over to the passenger side to begin his web. Oh, I like this, Harold said to himself. He was excited to see where hitchhiking in this big rig would take him next. The driver's name was Steve. Harold was right. Steve didn't even notice Harold or his web. He just started up the truck and they took off on their trip. Harold got comfortable in his web right in the corner of the windshield. This is a perfect place for me to ride, thought Harold. I can see out the front as well as in the rear view mirror. The first city that Steve drove them through was Seattle. Harold was impressed by the Space Needle and all the skyscrapers of the downtown area. He could also see Mount Rainier. What a beautiful sight, Harold thought to himself. Harold never knew about cities and mountains before. When they drove past Mount St. Helens, Harold was very glad he had decided to hitchhike. I would have just lived my whole life in that garden and never explored all these wonders. By the time they reached the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, Steve and Harold were best friends. Steve is the one who named him Harold. He smiled and said, Harold, look at that. You're a web builder. What do you think of that bridge? Harold had to admit, it was a handsome piece of construction. It makes me feel very small. When they reached Las Vegas, Steve crawled into the truck's sleeper for the night. Harold stayed up and watched the bright lights of the Las Vegas Strip. The next place Steve took Harold was to the Grand Canyon. If the San Francisco Bay Bridge made Harold feel small, the Grand Canyon made him feel like the smallest creature in God's creation. Steve said, well today we head back home, and I hate to tell you this Harold, but I will be changing to another rig. This truck goes in for cleaning. They will clean out your web for sure. Harold realized that his hitchhiking days were over. 
he was ready to go back home to his flower garden. When Harold got home, he was happy to see the children playing in the backyard and the other insects and creatures. They were all happy to see their old friend Garden Spider. They didn't know him as Harold. That was just his hitchhiker name. He told them all about his adventures on the road. He had seen big cities. He had seen big mountains. He had seen a big bridge. He had seen the big lights of Las Vegas, and he had seen the Grand Canyon. And now he just wanted to build a web in the garden and take it easy.